Well, hello everybody. How are you today? I hope you are all well. Welcome. My name is Melanie, Melanie Wellard, and I'm going to be looking today at the new moon today, depending on where you are in the world, yesterday and today, and see what that might um, what that might bring for you. So I'm going to first of all just focus on what the new moon might be for all of us collectively in this group, okay? Very powerful new moon coming up. A lot of us feeling um, a bit battered around. So I'm going to use some cards I don't normally use on one-to-ones. They tend to use them for myself. Um, but I'm just going to start, I'm going to use some, some actual moon cards and just see what the message is for all of us, okay, collectively while people are coming on. Okay, hi everybody. Thank you for coming on tonight. So I'm just going to link in. Picking up a lot of frustration with people in the group. Okay. Okay. Right. Well, this is a reading for all of you. Okay. To start with, before I start looking at individuals. And straight away, I've got here change and the unexpected. All right. Now, we're all facing this a huge amount at the moment, but immediately as I linked in with the group of people that are here tonight, I am picking up a lot of anxiety, a lot of frustration. Um, people feeling a bit helpless, okay? I am feeling um, not knowing which way to turn, all right? And it's... Um, there's some individual things going on, obviously, but I'm just feeling a collective feeling of what do I do next? What do I do next? What do I do next? What's coming next? Almost an anticipation in waking up in the morning. What's coming next? What's coming next? Almost like there's a just a wave um, coming at you. So I just want to say, just to start with, if we can just all take some deep breaths. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, just to bring yourself into this present space so we can just all be here in a state of calm and peace. Because the answer to this is wonderful, is our sovereignty. Just getting up where I'll show you that. You'll see that. This is about. That's why I'm asking you just to take a few deep breaths at the moment. And what we have to realise is the power that lies within us. We are not helpless. We have to believe that. We are not helpless. We have our own sovereignty. If we only open up to it, we are so connected to spirit. We have so much help coming in around us. So much power from within as well. I am safe and all is well. I am safe and all is well. It's a wonderful affirmation at this point. You are not helpless. You are very powerful. You are very, very powerful. So we all have to believe in our own sovereignty. Because when we get in that state, we create such a different energy around us and then we attract different energy towards us. And that's what I'm really feeling there is a need for at the moment. OK. Some beautiful souls. I can feel lovely energy and I can now feel just keep breathing, practicing that breathing, breathing in to three. Just as you reach the top of the breath, just holding for a couple of moments, whatever is comfortable. 
and then release. Feel that ball drifting away. Hand it over. Allow spirit just to take away any of that anxiety and stress. And then we can start getting to the real issues here. Okay. So I'm just going to, I'm using here sacred geometry cards, okay, these are again quite deep, they need a lot of thought, but I'm just going to see what message they have for us today, wow, okay, that flew out, <laughs> and how about that, <laughs> once again, change card, okay, a lot of fear around change unexpected change, a lot of fear over what's coming, and we have authority. A lot of chain thoughts around what's being forced on us, where you're feeling unable to control the change, okay? But again, prosperity and earth. I put up a post the other day, I was out hugging trees, got a beautiful big oak tree near me, and just holding it, connecting in with that nature, connecting downwards. I go out even when it's cold, just for a couple of moments and barefoot onto the earth, and then run in and have a hot chocolate. But getting that total connection, all right, is really, really important for us to keep grounded, to keep centered. All right, it's practice, practice, just keep doing it. It's not a case of just do it once and okay, that's sorted. I'm doing this several times a day. All right, um, not necessarily going out, but just visualizing my roots going down. All right, so I just want to, before I start, let's just do that as a an earth meditation now to help us all. So you may just want to just shut your eyes briefly and once again, take three deep cleansing breaths. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Let it go. Allow yourself to breathe in peace and tranquility. Breathing in that prosperity and breathing out all the fear. Breathing out all the loss, breathing out all the anxiety and all the stress, breathing in again, peace, calm and tranquility, and breathing out all the fear, stress and anxiety. And now I'd like you to bring your focus to the base of your feet and visualize roots flowing from the base of your feet down to Mother Earth. Feel them going deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper. Notice what your roots look like. Are they struggling to get through the earth? And you're taking them to the crystalline center at the base, the center of the earth. And as you connect to the center of the earth, this crystal begins to glow a beautiful pale pink. The heart of Mother Earth. And now allow that energy to flow up your roots, flowing back up into the base of your feet and flowing up into your body, filling you with this sense of pure love. Allow it to flow up your legs, through your body, down your arms to your hands. 
this beautiful pale pink divine energy flowing up through your body, through your head, flowing out through the top of your head and surrounding your aura until you are sitting in this beautiful, cuddled in this beautiful energy. Just keep breathing it in. And saying to yourself, out loud or within your mind, I am safe and all is well. I am safe and all is well. I flow with any change that comes into my life easily and effortlessly. Take another deep breath. And bring your focus back to the room, back to your body. Keep breathing, calm, peace. And when you are ready, open your eyes. I hope you enjoyed that. Just to help centre you and bring you hopefully a bit more peace and calm. Okay. So let's just see who we've got. Okay, hi Sharon. Hi Lee. Sharon, okay, I'm going to start with you. Okay, let's see, my love. Okay, I'm just going to link in with you. Just focus in on my voice. Let's make a good link here. Okay, let's see what's here for you two. Okay, Sharon, straight away as I link in with you, I am getting nervousness around. I'm, I'm sort of feeling between my stomach through the um, solar plexus chakra and your heart. I'm, I want you to carry on doing that breathing, if that makes sense. I am just feeling um, it's like you sway, you have a good day and then I'm feeling and then all of a sudden it's just like really jittery. And I'm just feeling that you've been f facing that quite a bit at the moment. OK. There are, it feels like you're at times getting overwhelmed with outside of yourself, all right? Other people's actions. It's almost like I want to say, strengthen those boundaries, all right? Because I am feeling that you're linking in a bit too much, all right? With, I want to say others' poor behavior, okay? Other people's poor behavior. Um, okay. Yeah. And straight away going on from what I just said, you've got release. OK, needing to practice what we've just been doing. There's a real need to release those heavy feelings using whatever techniques work for you. OK, to help you release. Um, I'm also getting here that. Um, you're having trouble releasing, um, I want to say, antagonistic relationship from the past. All right. It feels heavy. It still feels like you're joined. All right. And it's like I want to sever that. All right. <laughs> I almost want to bring in the crystal here and I want to sever that for you. All right, you're the one that has to let it go, but I want to give you a hand here, all right? And it's like cutting that cord um, because it just feels like you're still dragging it. You're still dragging it with you, all right? Um, and it is time to let it go, all right? And it feels like that's, um, I'm getting sort of dizziness with you as well. Um, just, can you just keep gently? Just doing those deep breaths down into your abdomen, okay? Because I'm feeling a lot of shallow breathing going on with you, okay? Um, I'm also being drawn to your throat chakra here. Um, 
releasing something that needs to be said. All right, now I want to say, okay, you need to be careful that you're not just releasing, um, uh, you're not letting it build up. All right, you need to not be letting this build up and um, releasing it with anger, which is why I think you need to be centering yourself first. Um, you may find it useful to write down what it is you want to say um, because you can't let in something new and good until you've released some of this from the past. All right. So there feels like whilst you are moving forward, there feels a stuckness about this. OK. Um, OK, I'm just going to have a look here just a bit deeper for you. Yeah, OK. You've got here as well, surrender your desire to control people. OK, so but this feels like trying to make it right for them. This doesn't feel as sinister controlling people. This feels like trying to make it OK for somebody else. All right. But it just feels again. There's a need to just let go a lot of letting go, needing letting go of that control, a lot of trying to step into the flow a bit more because we have to let people lead their lives. All right. You've got to let people um, find their way. And sometimes when we care so much, we do find that um, we do find that we can try and make it all right for them. OK, but I just feel there's a need to step back and allow someone to work it out for themselves. OK, so. I hope that helps. There's quite a lot going on there. So I'm just trying to fit it into a very, it feels like we need to have a lot more time to look into all of that. Um, but hopefully some of that resonates. Okay, let's see if we've got here. Okay, Lee, let's have a look at Lee. Okay, welcome everybody. Okay, um, let's see Lee, what we've got going on for you. What am I going to use for you? OK. Right, as I link in with you, Lee, I don't know whether this makes sense to you. I've got a real sense of longing, real sense of longing for, again, something that could have been, might have been. Um, I've also got, sorry, I don't know whether this is with Lee, you, Lee. I've also got from Spirit, I've got a Jason hanging around. I'm just going to put that out to the group, OK? I've got a Jason who wants to talk to somebody, but this isn't the right medium for, for being able to give you the messages because I can't see you and speak to you. So if anyone, um, there's someone in Spirit for someone who has a Jason, uh, is trying to communicate. So um, you can contact me afterwards, all right, if that resonates with you. The details are, um, are below. All right, so just click on the details of this reading. Okay, sorry, Lee. <laughs> he was being quite persistent there. So, okay, Lee. Okay, I've got a real sense of struggle with you, my love. Um, right. And I've actually pulled um, romance and connection. I feel that this longing um, and this struggle is to do with someone romantically linked to you, closely linked to you. Um, <laughs> I'm give, being given a picture of you standing at the end of a a jetty looking out to sea and it's like you're just longing you're waiting for that boat to come in waiting and it might not be that they've gone away physically but I feel that this could be someone who's removing themselves emotionally is becoming emotionally unavailable okay um oh, okay I'm being asked to ask the question is this you are you the one that's stepping back and being emotionally unavailable to someone else? It's like you're within your own 
little world and not necessarily noticing but I'm just getting this real sense of not connecting all right there is um, there's work to be done on needing to open up more and it's almost like you're facing you're um, not facing totally away from each other but it just feels like you need to turn towards each other again there's a real need to work this out to connect more um, it feels like you need to just put down all fear just you know I want to say this and I think this is with many relationship situations sometimes we have to just put away the fear and take a risk we need to jump off that cliff to say what we want to say because when we withdraw we just break we just um, break that wonderful connection um, when really we should be keeping keeping on keeping on keep trying you know it's not easy relationships are tough um we've come here to um i'm told again and again by spirit one of our main lessons here is through relationship you know that's why it's so tough um it doesn't always flow but we we believe that it should be like a romantic drama and we should always be able to read each other's minds so i'm just feeling here there's a need for some talking all right um okay i'm going to pull you another one here let's see what the this new moon is about for you. Pulling you several here. Okay. Yeah, so what I've got here is um, if you can just take a look at this picture with the moon it just feels like you're floating away somewhere and this is what i mean about emotionally being um, not attached all right you're not grounded enough um it's like you need to come back into the world it feels like an escapism um between you and another okay um you can sort this but it feels like you know you feel like you're you're in the darkness at the moment that you just can't see the light it just feels like feeling a bit hopeless all right but you have more power all right i am feeling with this one it's a case of as you you come back to i want to say come back to earth stop floating away all right stop escaping all right it it just feels like you need to ground yourself come back to reality there just needs to be some adult talking going on here, all right, to to help solve this rather than escaping in our minds and um, drifting away. We can sometimes move into that um, that victim state where it's all, oh, you know, this is all against me. It's not. There's a real need. And I keep coming back to what I was saying for everybody here. I feel that this this moon is very, very the astrology of this moon is very powerful. But we need to make sure we're very grounded here. We need to do all those grounding exercise daily. All right. Because otherwise we can get too drifting away. Um, and then we start to bury ourselves. Um, disconnecting from people. And there's a real need, I feel, for reaching out, connecting solidly. And that's what I feel at the moment, Lee. I'm just going to pull you one more. There's something about um, there's something about I've got Akashic records here, but it feels like you need to go back into your past. I feel that behaviour going on at the moment is linked to the past. All right, it's like you need to dig a bit deep as to behaviour patterns that are linked to the past. There's a real need for reviewing, and in order to bring in the new with the new moon, um, you know, the new moon is a time for making. Uh, your goals, your plans, what you want to create. But in order to do that, we have to go through that darkness first. We have to sit with who we are and what we need to let go of. All right, does that make sense, my love? I just feel there's a need to review. Be, be really honest. That's where we need to be grounded. We've got to all start looking in the mirror and seeing what we really need to let go of in order to bring that new in, okay, to bring in the change the changes in your life that you want to bring in all right i hope that helps i'm sorry the, the you know i know we could go on a long time and give really in-depth readings here but i want to sort of try and get through as many as i can okay oh i'm glad that's 
that would be right for you, Sharon. Okay. Hi, Gail. Okay, hi, Gail. Oh, thank you. Yes, I do like the background. I have lots of different ones that I might start using. So, Gail, I feel drawn to you at the moment. Okay. Mm, what am I going to use with you? Right, Gail, I'm picking up straight away. I'm going to, I'm actually going to use sacred geometry cards with you again. I feel that you are a very spiritual being. Um, so I feel that these will, these will make sense for you. And for some reason, um, why am I getting that you are very into colour and shape? You're very, you have a very good eye. I'm getting that you have a very discerning eye. Cool, I wish you'd come and do my house. Um, you're able to visualise something, um, walk into a house, into a room, and you can see just what should be where, what's it, got a real um, gift with that. If you don't know, if you're not using that, there's a real possibility there. You could really help people. Do that online you don't have to be in person if you're not able to um, give people advice you can give me some advice well um yeah sorry that came through very strongly i feel that you um and a great advice giver i'm being given here i'm told you're a great advice giver um it's like people journey to see you they're showing me that um you're the person that everyone goes to. All right. What I'm being shown is the sages of old is the words I've just been given by spirit here. Um, you're like one of the sages of old. All right. And everyone would visit you. Um, you've got that power. I'm, I'm being shown. OK, they're, they're showing me you. Um, I'm getting this as a past life. OK, so if you brought this energy through into this life, fantastic. Um, yeah, because they're showing me that people would bring offerings to you sorry this is just the past life stuff coming in here but um now it's it's almost like you give it away um so all right okay i can see where they're going with this they're they're wanting to say to you just be careful of how much of your energy you give away okay and they're saying that so they're showing you um in this past life that people would have bought you offerings okay so just make sure there is always um just an exchange all right um and just be a bit discerning with your energy because I do feel that um, you are doing a bit too much, all right, for others. You're not conserving enough. So it's like, again, you're just, um, yes, yes, I can help. Yes, I can help. Yes, of course. Yes, I'll do that. OK, so I, I'm just saying, whoa, just whoa, just take a breath, slow down, think about it before you go. Yes, 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 yes. All right. So let's see what we've got for you here. Yeah. Right, what I'm getting here, this is lovely. So integration and what I'm being shown here is that you are a very, very balanced person. And it's why you're so good at helping others is that you are able to always see things in a very balanced point of view. I'm just going to hold that up because for you to keep looking at that geometric shape, okay, that sacred geometry shape. Um, and I've, I'm being told this would speak to you, this picture, okay, that this would speak to you, all right. And I am feeling here that you are able to weigh up. You're very good at weighing up for people. So you sit calmly in the middle. You don't get involved in gossip. You don't get involved in conflict of others. You're very um, much able to see both sides and weigh it up. They're showing me like you with the uh, set of scales, okay? Um, like the, the Statue of Justice, you're holding the scales um, and you are able to help people. It's not always welcomed because people want you to take sides, all right? but keep that center path, all right? You are walking the path of spirit. You are um, very much walking the fifth dimensional path, um, if that makes sense. Um, 
And you're also able to, um, there's a lovely one for you. You are complete. There's a real sense of completeness with you. What a lovely being you are. It feels like um, you have, they're bringing back the balance of yin and yang. They're showing me yin and yang. All right. And again, it's all about that balance. You're able to see the darkness in people, see the light, and then you help them to also find that balance within themselves. So please stick at what you're doing. I'm very interested to know what it is you're doing because um, do message me afterwards, will you? I'd love to know what it is you do um, because you have a real gift there. And if you're not using it, um, then yeah it's more the connection with spirit so it's almost like spirit want to work with you more okay so if you're not already doing this it, it's time to explore it but i feel you are and then it's it's like you're being taken to a higher level um amazing lovely i hope that helped gail oh i want to sit with all of you for a long time okay Felicity, I'm drawn to you. Felicity Kate, lovely name. Felicity Kate, okay. All right, let's just link in with you, Felicity, see what's going on for you here. Right, um, Okay, what I'm getting around you at the moment, Felicity, is um, a lot of anger around you or people sort of pushing that at you um, and it's it's making you worse, but it just again feels like it's other people putting on to you and it's like you're going, get away, get away, get away. It's feeling like you want to back off from people, all right? Um, I hope that makes sense. It's They've almost got me, and they, they've got sort of, um, I don't know whether this is relevant, they're showing me like dogs at your feet, okay? But I feel as well they're using this as a symbolism because it's like dogs, they're saying dogs snapping at your heels, all right? So it feels like you're almost in a sense of being chased, being under attack, all right? And you're going, get away, get away, get away, all right? Um, and it just feels like, yes, you know, you're right to do this. You're, you're right to put up your boundaries. OK, and that was just uh, what they wanted to say to you straight away here. OK, before I look at the cards. Um, you, uh, it's causing you a lot of pain. I do feel that it can be challenging. I don't know whether this is is um, I feel this is someone close to you. This, this is possibly family anxieties going on and you're like I'm just I'm being shown you putting your hands over your ears you just don't want to hear it anymore all right so do go with your intuition on that one all right um, I don't want to go in too much into the personal here on the live so um yeah if if um if any of you um do want to work more deeply with you with me um do get in touch um, with the details. I do um, keep my prices um, very reasonable to allow people to have a long session with me. And what I do is I bring all my gifts to bear. So spirit, I may work with spirit. Um, I work psychically, um, clairvoyantly. I also am an executive coach and um, I would also bring in a healing element. I am a Reiki master. I also work with crystal light therapy. Um, so there's lots of things that I do. And so I like to charge for the session as opposed to for each individual um, service. And then I can bring that all to bear in, in whatever service and I can do it all online. So I've been doing some wonderful healings online recently. So. Um, so, yeah, do let me know if you want to work more deeply. Um, some of these issues, you know, we need to go quite deep in order to move on. So let's see, Felicity, what I have for you here. What's the new moon significant for you? What changes do you need to make for the new moon? Okay. 
Okay, right, that makes sense. So, um, going on what I was just saying, um, it says it all. You've got the peace card. It's you want to know how to bring peace around you at the moment. All right, but I do feel that um, you can create it. You need to take charge a bit more. Okay, it's it's. I'm being told you need to take charge over your life. Okay, you are not at the whim of everybody. All right, so I'm just feeling a need to really just take charge to start just saying that's enough. All right, and to have more faith in yourself. I've got the faith card, but um, I feel this is directed towards yourself. Okay, so I feel that sometimes you can, and it's often why you feel buffeted around by everyone else because you feel like other people know best. And, and I'm not getting that. I am feeling that you need to develop that faith in yourself. Now, I know that's easy to say, okay? Um, we can glibly say in a reading, oh, have more faith in yourself. But again, it's like, well, where do I go with that? How do I do that? How do I build my confidence? And that is a process, okay? Um, everything is a process. And it's why I work the way I do, because a reading will give you so much. A reading will give you these pointers. OK, but it's then well, where do I go from there? And that's how I work with my clients is to help them now on that journey to reach that point of where they want to get to. Because I do feel that um, it's like I, I want to I've got the creation card here, but the message I'm getting with it is it is you need to create the life of your own. Have faith in yourself, develop that faith in yourself. But you it's almost like you need to develop that in order to then start to create the life you want and where you want to go. But your first need is you're demanding peace. That's almost what's driving you, that you need peace in your life. And so it's like, well, how do I get that? So what changes do I need to make? So um, I hope that's helped. Again, I realise there is more to it than um, just this very brief interaction. But um, I do want to just say to all of you at the moment, as we are on the new moon, OK, it's really important, very powerful new moon to look towards what it is you want to bring into your life. OK, so if you have a pen and paper handy. I just want you um, all to oh look and I'm saying that just as the clock turns 11, 11, very powerful numerology. OK, so I just want you to now write down three things that you want to manifest in your life at the moment. What do you want to ask to bring in? Just write them down. It's very much more powerful when we write them. When we write them down, we're more likely to manifest them. OK. <laughs> and there we go. Divine timing. This is the right time to do it. OK. Not tomorrow or later on. Do it now. We got 1111 as I said that, and then I pulled the divine timing card. This is the right time to be doing it. Let's create that now. Just write down three. You can add more after I've logged off, but let's just do that now for everybody. Okay. And now just shut your eyes and visualize your list. Feel it. See the words floating within your mind. Take a deep breath. I'm going to do this quite quickly because we don't have the time to do full in-depth meditation, but it doesn't mind matter. And now in front of you, you see a beautiful crystal door. It is enormous. It is sparkling. You stand in awe. And you realise as you look down, you are on a gold and crystal path, a fifth dimensional path. Your body feels with excitement and anticipation. And you walk towards the door. And as you walk, you realise you are surrounded by your angelic helpers. And as you get closer and closer, they open the door. And beyond the door is the most 
amazing landscape. Look down and see that you have your list in your hand. You are excited about bringing this into your life. Feel it, smell it, taste it. How would you feel if all these things came into your life? And when you are ready, step through the door into what you want to create and bring into your life now. Okay. Now you can do that more. You need to focus on what you want to create. It's really important to use these times, new moon, full moon, they're a great time to just do these type of rituals to focus on what you want to bring into your life. Because if we leave it to chance and think, oh, well, I'll just see what comes along. We need to be the co-creators of our life. OK, let me see who else we've got here. Collect Jade. Hi, Collect. <laughs> you're nearly asleep. Okay, yes, it will be late where you are, isn't it? Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, well, I hope you're still on, Colette. Um, yes, thank you for my room. It does have a wonderful energy. Um, so, yes, I've even been told there's an angelic portal in this room, which is lovely. So, even the dog sometimes just barks at it. So, I know there's something going on. Okay, Colette, let me just link in with you. Right, immediately I, I am shown um, angel wings with you. So I don't know whether you already work with the angels, you are aware of the angels. So um, that's very powerful around you. Right, um, I'm being shown here, Colette, um, you writing a letter and handing it to someone. Um, OK, what I'm getting here is with somebody that you've tried and tried to talk to and you're not getting anywhere, I feel they're totally closed down to hearing. OK, so I'm just being told here that try writing. All right. Try writing to somebody. Um, so just but I'm being shown you handing it rather than posting it. It feels like, OK, nothing else has worked. Um, so I need to just put these thoughts down. Do give a lot of thought to how you put it. um quite closed all right so uh whether this will work i'm not sure i'll have a look at them but it just feels like um they sit in quite a victim mentality so it's almost like whatever you say however you try and help them um it, it doesn't work as far as they're concerned so you can try this but you need to um if you do decide to speak but i'm getting the written word um, you need to give it with total lack of expectation of return, all right? Because at the end of the day, it's their um, it's their life, and you can't force people. Okay, we can't. We need to say that out loud. We cannot change somebody else, all right? We can only change ourselves. So I'm just going to have a look at what maybe their issue is a bit more. Okay, would you understand um, got surrender comparisons with others? Okay, stop comparing themselves. I feel this person has, um, yeah, okay. That's what I thought would come up, okay? Very low self-esteem, all right? Um, so with that can come very victim mentality, not listening, not wanting to, because I've also got here, surrender to the, the wisdom of your body. They're not listening to themselves. They're not listening to others. OK, um, I don't believe this is you. Um, 
yeah you can only okay i'm just getting here you can only do what you can do and then you have got to back off a bit you've got to let go and let them just get on with it okay because i do feel that this is causing you um a lot of anxiety okay is this um okay i've got the family card here all right so i'm using another card and i so I, I am feeling that this is somebody that you can't sort of just get away from um but sometimes we do just have to back off anyway all right i hope that helps um obviously i feel again there's there's more to it but um i don't want to go into very intimate details on here okay Right, OK. OK, Angela, Angela, OK, you have a job interview. All right, my love, let's have a look, see what the new moon. Great thing. I hope you wrote that down on your list. If you followed that and wrote that down. Right. Let me just link in with you, Angela. OK, straight away, I feel that you're very particular about what you're going to wear to the interview. All right. I feel you've got it just so and you're going to look fantastic. Um, and the message I'm, I'm being asked to hand on here, and it sounds obvious, but please have confidence in yourself. It's um, it's like you've got this resume that's like this. OK, it's really, really long but you, you're not necessarily owning it. So what they're showing me is you have loads of skills, but it's like you're only looking at this much, all right? So really spend some time before you go um, really accepting. It's like, okay, if you were the person interviewing you, so they're asking me to get you to do this, all right? If you are the person that was doing the interviewing, um, I want you to be saying, wow, you do that. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, you've done that before. Wow, you can do that. Oh, what an amazing person you are. All right. So do that to yourself, that self-talk, because I'm just getting that you maybe are letting the negative self-talk come up and sort of like choke you a bit. All right. So I'm being told, have confidence, walk with, with pride and confidence. All right. Um, oh, there you go. <laughs> that just flew out. So abundance. All right, have confidence in this. OK, definitely, if this is right for you, then um, I feel it's a very, very positive outcome. OK. Um, be saying to yourself, what is meant for me will not pass me by. It's a wonderful affirmation. What is meant for me will not pass me by. So do practice seeing yourself in it. Ah, OK, what I'm getting through here is you need to remember also that you are selling, which is why they just got, uh, they got you to, um, they gave you that scenario to do and do it every day leading up to the interview, all right, interviewing yourself and just keep saying how wonderful you are and how perfect you are for it. But here's the thing, you need to remember that you are selling yourself to them, all right, as well as they are selling themselves to you. Balance. Don't go in there feeling terribly, oh, you know, thank you so much for um, being, you know, don't keep your energy low like that. Stand tall. And I am being shown you are going to look fabulous. All right. I feel you look fabulous. Walk in there, head held high. It's not being overconfident, but I feel they, you have a lot to sell. Okay. You have a wonderful um, package of who you are to sell to them. All right, so please do walk in there with your head held high. <laughs> okay, I just, just, I'm just literally lifting the cards off. All right, I'm just, I've got so many sitting here and I've just pulled this opportunity and change. All right, I'm going to show you both of those abundance, opportunity, and change. If this is right for you, then it will not pass you by. OK, but do remember that they are also so make sure you are oh, OK, make sure you have lots of questions. Do make sure you go in with lots of questions. OK, um, about the company, about them. Um, being a manager for many years and Spirit were just reminding me that when I interviewed people, uh, you're always more impressed by people who had questions. All right. You probably have done that. Um, Okay. 
seeing if there's anything more to you, for you, sorry. <laughs> Perfect card for today, wish upon a star. I feel the company, um, they're just showing me, so make your wishes today, okay? New moon, do it every day leading up to it. New moon, perfect time for making that wish. Okay, what I am picking up is um, with the company, they have been going through quite a bit of turmoil. Um, I feel they are going through change themselves and I'm being shown that they are in great need of the skills that you have to offer. All right, so I wish you every success with that. Perhaps you will private message me and let me know what goes on. I'd love to know. Okay, right. Let's see. Okay. Oh, Sharon, I've just seen that you said the, the dizzy spells was accurate. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I hope you're going to go and get that. Um, I hope you're going to go and get that checked, Sharon, please. Yeah. I'm I can't give medical advice, obviously, um, but please just, you know, just go and get a check over with the doc, will you? Um, just. Um, you know, if you're having dizzy spells, always go and just get that help. All right. Okay. Uh, right, Marlene. Okay, I'm told I don't have to rush off tonight, so I will keep going and try and help as many of you as I can. Okay, my love, Marlene. Right, let me just link in with you. All right, I'm feeling a lot of tension in your home um, towards you. Uh, is there someone very angry around you, my love? Um, I've just got you walking away. All right. Um, I feel this is very personal, so I don't wish to go into too much detail on here. OK, um, but I'm getting a sense of you having had enough. All right, I'm just going to pull you some cards. I, if you don't mind, I don't want to take that any further publicly, okay? Um, but I am just going to pull you some cards as well. All right. Um, let's see what help. Right, I'm going to pull one from this for you. interesting because I pulled the opportunity and change card for you and I feel but in this instance I feel that you're desiring a lot of change I feel that you really want something quite deep to change um I've got here as the moon cards I've got the wisdom card and nourishment all right and what I'm being shown here is you're not listening to your inner wisdom it's trying to, it's like you're getting messages, you're getting a real sense of what you need to do, but it's like you're not listening. And it just feels like you're not looking after yourself, okay? It's like you put yourself to the bottom of the pile and it's time for that to change. It is definitely the time for that to change. And it's, I don't know what you um, wished for for the new moon, but it's almost like, I feel that you know big changes need to take place. Okay, so again, I realise that's, that's a big message. Um, and again, as I would say, if anyone wants to work with me more long term or look at this in more depth, then please just contact me um, and we can set that up. Um, just going to look at one more for you, my love. Mm -hmm. 
yeah okay so you've got surrender worry um and again i know that's a, a tall ask at the moment for you okay um but i just feel that see worry gets us nowhere worry if you think about it what happens when we worry we can worry 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 hour after hour after hour after hour and it changes nothing all it does is send out negative energy it feels like that it's time to bring the worry under control and to make change all right so i hope that's helped my love um i know easier said than done um i've just pulled you another speak up and be heard but I hear, I feel with this that you need to speak up to yourself as well. You need to be listening to yourself. It feels like you know what to do, but you're ignoring it because it, it feels too challenging. All right. So, um, oh, bless you, my darling. I'll send you some healing as well. So um, hopefully help you with that. Okay. Sorry, it's just the screen is slowed down. I do apologise for the delay. Um, it's just taking, as I'm trying to move it, it's just stopping. Okay, it started moving. Okay, uh, Sandy. Okay, my darling. Right. Okay, Sandy, now you, you mention in your message that, um, it's funny, I'm holding my hands like this and I've just seen your message with the emoji there. Um, you say that you suffer from bad anxiety. Um, I do feel uh, if you're not getting some support with that, um, straight away I am feeling, please reach out for help. Um, go and seek some some professional advice with that, my darling, because I do feel. Um, but it feels like um, okay. Do you get nervous of actually going out into the world? Um, if that makes sense, it's it's like you've gone back and back and back and back. And I want to almost be. Um, being shown by spirit here to be gently pushing you out into the world which is would help you enormously it feels like there's shame you've got to step over the threshold again all right um, and i know that's not easy so it is reaching out for help to help you do that all right it's it to some people that is like well that doesn't seem a big thing and, and i i feel for you this is an enormous thing all right but it's like you've got your spirit guides either side here helping you but you need to also reach out physically all right to people um, and ask for their help it's almost like maybe that's your your new moon um wish your new moon um goal is i need to get out in the world more um it feels i can sense that you feel it all a bit overwhelming um but it's like holding back is no longer serving you all right. And it's almost like then it just creates more anxiety. All right. So it's almost through the not doing that then creates more fear and anxiety. Does that make sense? Um, oh, bless you, my love. Okay. Right. Well, I think this is why you've maybe asked this question on a new moon, because um, I have got as well the darkness card here. And this is when the moon goes dark just before the, the new moon. But it's also a time I feel for you that you feel like you're going through that dark night of yourself, the dark night of the soul. OK, 
So very much please ask for help, physical help to help you. Um, don't be nervous as well to um, call on whoever it is, the divine God, the angels. Do ask for that help as well, because it's like they're sitting, waiting for you to ask. All right. But it is time because with that, you've got new beginnings. It's like the door that I had you all visualize, doesn't it? So it just feels, my darling, that it is time for you to step through the door. OK, but I'm feeling this is also a physical door of getting getting out, doing more. All right. Getting out into the world. So maybe just going for a walk with somebody first, connect back in with looking up at the sky. I'm seeing you looking up at the sky. It's almost like, you know, I'm being shown the blue sky and looking upwards rather than it's almost like you're crumpled over like this. All right. And you've gone so far into yourself. Um, and it's like I want you opening up more like this. All right. Now, I know that's a journey to take and that feels very, very scary. Um, but it feels like, yeah, I've just asked again. And I've got action. It's time to take action. You can help yourself with this. You can get help from others with this. Your life can be brighter and bolder. It's just a process. And it feels like this is the time. So make this your wonderful goal for change for this new moon. All right. And maybe make that a goal for this whole year rather than getting caught up in lots of other things, which we do and daily, weekly things. Sometimes we make a goal for the whole year. What is it? And I feel this is a theme to build on your confidence, to um, get control of that anxiety. Um, obviously, I can't teach you everything on here, but there are many tips and ways of doing this. OK, so. Um, OK, I'm just going to do one more. All right. Oh, Melinda, sorry. Melinda Stacy, as I go past George, you want to um, actually love to enhance your skills as a medium. Um, <laughs> I'd go yes. Straight away, I got a yes. That's why I stopped at you. But very much balance is needed. All right. You need to ground more. All right. It's almost like you must practice this more before you start practicing connecting more and going up. If you're not grounded, you end up you'll end up all over the place, very spaced out. All right. It's um, so it, I'm being told that you need to practice those grounding skills first. All right. Um, so it's like spend this month doing that. All right. Um, but yes, you have you definitely have skills there, my darling. Um, so go for it. But you need to do it uh, with somebody. Um, I definitely feel you need someone to help anchor you, um, someone who will work with you and guide you. All right. So I hope that helped. OK. Oh, do you know, when I work with spirit a lot, they always send me an itchy nose. It's very annoying. Um, OK, I don't know whether uh, how many of you are still here. OK, sorry, I also got a John in spirit just popping in as well. So um, again, it's um, I don't know who I'd be talking to. It's hard to do it this way. So um, anyone who has a John that might be reaching out coming through quite strong here. Uh, OK, sorry, he's speaking in my ear here and um, he's actually saying to me, whoever this might be relevant for, um go for the sale all right i am getting uh go for the sale so if that message quite random sorry about that um i'm just asking to step back now because um right i need to get back to seeing who else i can help here OK, 
Alicia McGuinness, if I pronounce that right. Alicia McGuinness, I hope I pronounced that right, right, Alicia. Okay. Right, sorry I'm hesitating here, Alicia. I'm just trying to get hold of what uh, I'm being shown. Um, and it feels like you're feeling quite aimless at the moment. It's like, I just have no idea. It's not even like you're on a crossroads. You're just, it just feels like you have no idea what to do next. Okay, um, so I'm just gonna look at that in a bit more detail. Again, I won't give out personal details here. Um, right okay i'm just getting the message here choose one it's almost like rather than do nothing choose one thing to do all right so it's like you just you've got lots of options you know, i don't know which i don't know what to do i don't know what to do and you're looking for an exact um answer to which one and i'm just being told here just choose one take some action because okay <laughs> this is the analogy i'm being shown here it's like you've unplugged yourself so there's no energy going into anything and you're just standing there holding the plug and there's the sockets. So what I'm being shown by spirit is plug into one of them, take a step towards one and the energy starts flowing with everything and then it all becomes a bit clearer. Does that make sense? It will then all become a lot clearer, but it's like you're frozen in fear of making the wrong choice. Okay, so, um, but actually doing nothing is also a choice and it feels like they want you to step up. I've got someone coming here, through here. Um, I feel it's a grandfather link. OK, I think I've got both. I've got grandmother and grandfather. But the father, grandfather is much stronger here. It's grandfather link. Um, and I feel that he was somebody who is pretty um, <laughs> matter of fact says it like it is he doesn't like fluffing about all right so that came through very strong just take action is what i'm saying that's not coming from me that's coming from him all right um but i've also got grandmother it's like they've come through as a tag team all right um and huge amount of love for you um would you understand if i say that um they're saying something about whether this is where they're looking after you now but i've got that you are a favorite and um it's almost like the grandfather could be um, lovely. I feel a lovely man. So I'm not feeling cruel in this, but he just, he wants someone to take action. He doesn't like a lot of talk. Whereas I'm feeling the grandmother is coming through saying, well, okay, let's talk about it. Let's have a chat and we'll talk it through. So I feel like they work quite well as a tag team. Um, but I would say, yeah, it's, it's almost like there's been a lot of talk, a lot of thinking. It's time to take action. All right, so let me just see what come through from you here. Interesting, right, okay. I'm being told that you'll know more what, what this means, um, but I've got the blossoming card. So it is like you need to take that step for something to come to fruition. Um, and I've got beauty here and I don't know why, but I'm feeling that this has something to do with the skills you have. OK, so whether it's your very particular, they're showing me the beautiful face. OK, um, saying you're a great beauty, um, but also do you do something to help um, others become beautiful or look beautiful or whatever? So I don't know why that's coming through quite strong there um, or it is they're just looking at your face, but it's like something wants to be born in you. All right. Something wants to happen, but you've got to take action to get it going. So stop being frightened. Just jump in. They're showing me the diving board. Just jump in. OK, because that's when you allow the unexpected to happen. You never know what's coming to you. You can't get what's needing to come to you. And I do understand this. Sometimes we get frozen in. What if I make a mistake? What if I make a mistake? But if we don't get on that any path and start moving forward. So here's what I'm being shown. You start walking on this path, so plug into any socket, start taking some action, start doing something, and that energy starts to flow. And then you're on this path, and then all of a sudden there's a tributary path here, that all of a sudden you'll go off at a tangent. You'll go through a door, but that window can't open. 
until you've gone through the door. Does that make sense? You can't go into the house and open the windows till you've gone through the front door is what I'm being shown here. Um, but you're standing like, oh, I don't want to do it, you know, until you want to see what's through that window, but you can't until you take action. So please just get moving. Please just take some action because I'm getting you can't make a mistake here. All right. That's a lovely message to get. Just take some action. OK. So. Right. And just the last message for you there. Um, immediately the energy changed here and um, I've got forgiveness and understanding. And straight away with this, the energy change that this is needed as you move forward, not before you can move forward. Um, and I'm getting this is forgiveness and understanding of yourself. All right. I'm being told here it wasn't your fault. If that helps, it wasn't your fault. It is time to get moving. And I'm just hearing it again really loudly. It wasn't your fault. Stop getting into blame here. There wasn't, this isn't about blame. There feels a real need to work on that forgiveness and letting it go. That's what's maybe holding you back. Um, but somehow you're, I don't know, you're holding on to something really heavy here. And that's what's giving you this confusion. But they are just going, come on, girl, plug in, get moving. All right. So I don't want to leave you all. OK, I'd love to be um, helping you all the way through. Um, but I probably need to log off. I've gone over my time. So I am here um, every Wednesday evening. Um, so that's 930 your time. I know that might differ as well. Different parts. I'm in the UK. So it's morning for me here. Well, coming up to lunchtime. So. I am so grateful to all of you. I'd just like to just do a final little meditation to help you all. All right, just a relaxation. And my details are in um, the box below or at the side or wherever it appears. Look up my website, melaniewellard.co.uk or please look me up on Facebook, Melanie Wellard 55 OK, so you can contact me through there or by all means, I do use my profile page as just for um, reaching out and helping people. I do regular Melanie's Mindful Musings, OK, which are inspirational videos and chats to you to um, help support as many as I can. And on that, you can. I do put them also on my YouTube channel, Melanie Wellard, so you can find me everywhere. Uh, Melanie.Wellard on Instagram or join my Facebook profile page. So just Melanie Wellard. Um, I think it might be Melanie Wellard 7, but you'll see my face. So <laughs> it's, you'll know who it is. Um, so please do connect with me. I'd love to have you in my little community. Um, and as I say, you may find it helpful having those regular um, mindful musings that I do, um, which are all um, channeled from spirit so they tell me what they want me to speak about each day and um, and then we go from there so if you just like to just all shut your eyes take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth and hopefully this will help you sleep peaceably tonight I would like to call in team that I work with of angels to surround us all with their light and their blessings and feel yourself wrapped in the wings of your guardian angel. Feel yourself held in total and absolute love. Visualize now a light coming down from above your head, coming down from the divine, through your head and through your body, and filling you with pure love. I 
I ask Archangel Michael to surround you in his cloak of protection. I ask that you sleep well and deeply and with a sense of peace. And that you are a ball, a ball, you are love, kindness, and the clarity to see your next steps on this night of a new moon. Allow yourself to let go of what no longer serves you and walk through that door to the bright new future. Feel that love all around you. Know that they want the very, very best for you. But we have to work in cooperation with spirit, be the co-creator. It's time to take steps towards your magnificent future. But for now, part of that is to sleep. Allow yourself to relax, feel those wings around you, that light within you. And I wish you a most beautiful sleep. Be well, and I will see you hopefully next week. Thank you so much for being here and for staying up so late with me. Bye bye, see you soon.